Hollywood with the best in stand-up comedy off the chain. Welcome to the stage, Roy Jackson. I'm finally getting adjusted to being married. You know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something, it takes some adjusting. You know what I mean? It, it, look, it don't come with no manual. Don't nothing prepare you for it. When you get married, it's straight up on the job training. People do get married, and then they get comfortable real quick. And what I mean by comfortable, right, is they think because all of a sudden now, because this death do us part, and they didn't got married, they think they could just start doing stuff that they never did before they got married. Never. They think just, it's all good now. I could just be me. For example, before we got married, my wife probably never even burped in front of me. Then we got married, she got crazy comfortable with her gas release. You know what I mean? Every now and then, I'm laying in the bed, she laying in the bed. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. I I'm watching TV and she fell asleep. And it's all good, everything's fine. Then she let out a poop. But I'm not tripping, because I'm looking at her, I'm like, oh, that's so cute. She let out a pool. She was probably like holding that all day because she didn't want to do it in front of me. <laughs> so it's all good. I'm like, don't worry about it, you know? But then later, she let out a fart. <laughs> Whole nother program, you know what I'm saying? Whole nother program. So I'm looking, and I'm like, whoa, that's, that's, we didn't expect that. That's not as cute as the poop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I don't know about that. But the part is, that's crazy, is that she messed around and it was so loud, she woke herself up, because she scared herself. <laughs> so you laying in the bed asleep, and it's just <laughs> like that. But it wasn't so much she scared herself. She scared herself, then gonna turn and look at me like I did it. <laughs> so she didn't know what's going on. But you know, hey, you can't get mad, because you can't control that stuff in your sleep. And that's what it's about. That's what marriage is all about. It's, it's about, you know, growing and accepting people for their qualities and their flaws. You know what I'm saying? Making compromises. You know what I mean? Like me, I, I, hey, I ain't perfect. You know what I'm saying? I ain't perfect. I ain't easy to deal with. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on communication. Real big on communication because I don't like to argue. And I think most men pretty much function in the same manner. You know what I mean? Because most of us, most of us played sports growing up. So we kind of approach everything from an athletic approach. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I play football, right? So, so the coach would tell you stuff like, hey, now when you get out there on the field, you need to communicate with your teammates so nobody get hurt. And let me tell you how important that is. There's a play in football called a crackback. Okay, if any of y'all play football, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, I'm going to explain it to you. It's a play where it's a receiver lined up over there. It's a linebacker lined up right here. That receiver take off running full speed because he about to hit the linebacker in the ear hole, okay? So you got to communicate. Who's supposed to communicate? The corner, his teammate. He's supposed to tell the linebacker, watch for the crack, watch for the crack. You about to get your head took off, right? Because if not, he going to get hurt. When you're in a relationship, it's the same thing, right? Your spouse, or your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, or whatever, that's your teammate. So what you got to do, you got to communicate so don't nobody get hurt. Y'all ain't know I was gonna get deep. You see what I'm saying? I'm getting deep. You gotta communicate so nobody get hurt. But the problem is, y'all women, y'all not like that. Y'all don't think like that. No, 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 no. No, y'all get mad about something. You don't wanna talk about it till you wanna talk about it. That's how it go. Now we gotta sit around playing the what's wrong game. You know? And y'all know what the what's wrong game is. If you ain't familiar, it goes something like this. Hey, baby, what's wrong? Nothing. Well, you ain't acting like nothing. I mean, it looked like something wrong. Come on, just tell me what's on your mind. Now, that's the wrong question in itself, because the last thing you want is for her to start telling you everything that's on her mind. You know what I mean? But you stupid, so you're going to ask the dumb question anyway. Come on, baby, tell me what's on your mind. No, I don't feel like it. I ain't nothing wrong. I don't want to talk about it. So then you get stuck with this problem to just keep brewing until it come out later. 
and you done forgot all about it. She want to bring it up with a whole load of other problems that she didn't want to talk about at that time. <laughs> and that's why I don't like to argue. But you know, like any couple, from time to time, we gonna argue a little bit. But you know what, we don't argue about like money or nothing like that. You know one of the most common arguments me and my wife have? About where we want to eat. <laughs> about where we want to eat. And if you've been in a relationship, that's a, that's a, that's a tense <laughs> argument. That's it, look, let me tell you something. You'd be like, hey, what you want to eat? I don't know. <laughs> you know, what you mean you don't know? You just said you was hungry, but you don't know what you want to eat? So then I start asking, throwing out some options. You want some Mac D? You want some Burger King? No. No. Well, apparently you know everything you don't want, so why don't you just tell me what you do want? <laughs> but no, don't work like that. Because they don't want to talk about it, so they want to talk about it. And see, my wife, what she likes to do, when she get in an argument, she want to win at all costs. She don't care. She want to punish me in the argument. She want to make sure that she won in the end, right? I'll give you an example. One time, I'm supposed to take it to an appointment. I'm running a little bit late, OK? But that ain't the point. You going to get there. You just may not get there exactly when you wanted to. But I'm going to get you there. <laughs> anyway, she decides she going to get mad at me. She going to get mad at me and not look at me the whole ride. That's how I'm getting punished now. So I'm driving, and she looking. I'm driving, and she looking. And I'm like, OK, it's cool. I ain't going to say nothing. So when we finally do get back home, and she decides that she in the mood to talk now, because she don't want to talk about it till she want to talk about it, what's the first thing she say? My neck hurt. Yeah, your neck hurt. Because you've been sitting there looking out the window all day like a crazy person. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm talking to y'all about my wife's flaws and stuff, but at the end of the day, I love my wife. You know what I mean? She cool. Because I got a lot of friends who wife ain't as cool as mine. It's like they didn't mess around and move back in with their mama. <laughs> like, you know when you was a little kid and you got a friend and you want him to do something with you, and then you say, hey, man, why don't we go sneak out? You know what I'm saying? I got, I know some girls down there. You know what I mean? We can go meet them down at the park or something. And he'd be like, yeah, it's cool. Just don't tell my mama. Now you got your partner, he a grown man and got married, and you may call him for something simple. Hey, Johnny, hey, man, my car broke down over here, man. Uh, you think you come give me a ride to the store? Hey, look, man, look, look, <laughs> look. I'm gonna give you a ride, all right? I'm gonna give you a ride. But just don't tell my wife. <laughs> like, then he got married to his mom again, so I, you know, I think I'm lucky sometimes. I mean, my wife don't be tripping. And she cool, too, because, you know, every now and then, she don't mind a time to time. I go hit the scene with my partners. And from time to time, you know where I like to go? To the club. Yeah, I still like to go sometime. I like to get off up in there. And especially when it's anti-ugly. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Y'all, look, don't front with me. Don't front with me. Y'all know. Y'all know when y'all go somewhere and it's a whole lot of attractive people having a good time, y'all feel just a little bit better. Like me, I feel safe when everybody look good and it's anti-ugly. But let's be real. The only people that cause problems is ugly people. OK? You can tell the truth. I know. I know. Since I was a kid, my grandma used to tell me. She said, baby, God don't like ugly. So you know it got to be bad if God don't like it. But then you go out in the spot anti-ugly, right? It's anti-ugly. But for some reason, for some reason, you always got that one ugly dude. That one ugly dude decide he gonna go anyway, cause he feeling lucky. Said I don't know why he feeling lucky. You know what I mean? He ain't never been lucky before. Good looks ran past him at birth, but he don't care. He go anyway and get in line. Just ugly. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get off up in here tonight. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get off up in here tonight. You know? And he waiting in line. He got everybody else in line confused. You know, they looking at him like, hey, man, you think we in the right place? Because this dude don't look like he's supposed to be here. So they confused, but he don't care. He think he done made it. He in line waiting. Hmm, what everybody looking at? You know what I mean? I'm a boss. You know, I'm going to get in here, you know? And he waiting in line. He mess around, get all the way to the front. Now he in front where security at. Everybody start walking past him. And he mad at that. I mean, he looking around, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Man, I've been standing here all night. I've been standing here all night. And everybody, man, what's going on with this line, partner? Everybody walking past me. How this line moving? 
uh, is moving in the right direction, right past you. You know, but security, because I used to work club security, so I know when you have a, a encounter of the ugly kind, you gotta find a way, you gotta find a way to keep them on ice. Because the last thing you want to do is get an ugly person riled up. You know what I mean? They don't care. You think they scared of something? Let me tell you, they ain't scared of nothing. So you gotta do something, you gotta do something to keep them on ice, right? So what security do we get smart? And security tell ugly dude this. Hey, player, don't even worry about it. I'm gonna get you in in one minute, you know what I mean? Just hang tight for me. Everything gonna be cool. There's a lot of ladies in there, they, and they gonna like you. <laughs> no, they not. But you gotta keep it feeling good, keep your spirits up, because if you get mad, it's on. But what he don't know, the hook is, the club closed at 2 o'clock a.m., and he ain't getting in until 1.55. <laughs> and when he don't get in, you know what he do? You know what he do? He go hang in the shadows of the parking lot like Dracula. <sighs> At least Dracula was sexy. Dracula had women in his life, you know what I mean? Anybody gonna like him like Dracula? He don't have no skills like that. But he don't care, he gonna stand out there and wait anyway, and this is his thought process. <sighs> I'm just gonna wait outside. They all gotta come out sometime. I'm just gonna wait right here. And then he start lying to himself, right? He be like, and I know they been in there drinking. They done probably got a little tipsy. They probably gonna mistake me for Denzel. My man, <laughs> it ain't that much mistaken in the world. <laughs> then the ladies come out, right? They come out the spot. You, you know what I mean? They bleed. <laughs> Girl, it was so fun in there. You see that guy like, <laughs> and they don't know he wait. And he out there waiting. They come walking down the street. He just jump out on them. <sighs> What's up with you? <laughs> Nothing, you ugly fool. I'm saying, no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, though. I'm trying to holler at you. Oh, I'm going to be the one hollering if you don't get away from me. That's how it be. But the crazier part is that the girl that said it, she have been in the club drinking, and she is a little tipsy. But she ugly, too. <laughs> so the drink and got her feeling herself, and she thinks she cute. So now she want to blow him off, you know what I mean? Like somebody was actually trying to talk to her. He was trying to talk to her friend, but she want to respond. <laughs> it's all good. Oh yeah, ladies, y'all giggling at the ugly dude, but y'all know like I know, ugly chicks go to the club too. <laughs> the difference is they actually get in. And you know how they get in? They camouflage themselves with pretty chicks. <laughs> yeah, that's what they do. You be outside in line, you see like six to eight, you know, beautiful ladies. And then like that seventh or ninth one, just be, you know, they walking in, she just creeping in right behind them, you know what I'm saying? Just getting in. You know? Some of y'all might be in here in a group right now, got an ugly friend with you, but you ain't gonna tell her she ugly. You know? And you, you know why you ain't gonna tell her she ugly? Because you can't. Because y'all got a contract deal. And people, if y'all don't know what the deal is, I'm gonna break it down for you. The deal is this. We gonna let your little ugly self get in here with us, but when you get in, you gonna have to be the protector slash hater slash bodyguard. <laughs> she gonna be the protector because she gonna protect her cute friends from all them little shady, creepy guys that they don't wanna talk to. She a hater because nine times out of 10, she gonna hate on the dude that her friend actually like. And then she a protector because she ready to fight at the drop of a hat if anybody say something to one of her friends. <laughs> Yeah, yo, you, yo, yo, let me tell you, ugly girl ready to fight. Cause she ain't got nothing to lose. She ain't scared she gonna mess her face up. So she ready. She don't care. And fellas, y'all know the girl I'm talking about. Y'all know who she talking about. Y'all know. Cause you'll be standing there talking to a lovely lady and you'll be saying something like, yeah, you know, you look so lovely tonight. I would really love to, you know, uh, hang out with you and get to know you a little bit better. You know, maybe we can go have a nightcap or get something to drink after this. And then out of nowhere, here she come. Oh no, oh no, no you don't, no you don't. You are not leaving with her. You are not leaving with her. We came together and we are gonna leave together. So sorry to crush your little dreams, boo boo. And the whole time she doing her hand like this. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Cause she, cause she like, oh, oh, moving her hand like this. Like she wants you to shut up while she talking. 
Then she messed around, get back to the car with her friends. You know, and they recapping the night. And you know, she excited, because she knows she happy she get to go with them, so she's so thankful. Oh, girl. <laughs> I had so much fun in there. I had so much fun in there. I'm so happy when y'all take me out. <laughs> Did y'all have fun, too? <laughs> and the pretty one is like, I mean, yeah, I had fun, but, you know, I probably would have had more fun if you wouldn't have, like, scared that guy off that I was talking to. <laughs> Wrong thing to say. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean? Scare him off. Scare him off. Okay? You know, that's your problem. You see, that's your problem. That's all y'all problem. Okay? You don't appreciate what I be doing for y'all. You know what I'm saying? When I be keeping these little shady men away from y'all, y'all don't appreciate that. Um, what do you mean? Like, how do you know he was shady? How do you know? Oh, how do I know? How do I know? Did she say something ridiculous? How do I know? I'm gonna tell you how I know. Because before he was trying to talk to you, he was all up on me trying to talk to me. So sorry to crush your little dreams, boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? Just lying. Lying. She know wasn't nobody trying to talk to her all night. Good they was, she'd have been missing an action because she'd have left quick. Hey, look, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Look. Ugly girls are good for some. An ugly chick will set up, just, just shut a dance floor down. Because she got to do something to keep up with all the pretty chicks in the club. But that ain't that hard, because we all know the pretty chicks don't dance. They just walk around holding hands like they lost all night. <laughs> like, they don't know where they going. Come on, come on. Over here this time. Wait a minute, where we at? No. Ugly chick out there getting it in. Just throwing it, just throwing it, just throwing it. And you might mess around and, and accidentally on purpose dance with one. <laughs> but fellas, let me tell you something. If you mess around and get on the dance floor with ugly chick, you better pack a lunch. Cause she about to get you the business. Okay? She about to get you the business. And the thing is, you don't even know what she looked like at first cause you seen her from the back getting it in. <laughs> like that. And you from afar, you looking like, ooh. Oh, wait a minute, who, let me. So you just creep up, you, hey, you know, you, you gotta check the water first. You don't just jump in there and you know, no, you don't do like that. You gotta do it slow, cause you gotta test it out. You know, first you come up a little slow, like, uh, yo, can you get a little closer, uh, oh, okay, she into it, and she giving you the business, you know what I'm saying? And you got your hand up, like, telling your man, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. And your man looking at you like, no. No, right? And in your mind, you like, man, he, he always hating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you better hope she don't turn around because all that fun gonna come to a screeching halt. <laughs> she be giving you the business, you don't know what she look like. And next thing you know, she just. <sighs> and you like, whoa, whoa, hey. You know, I think I got the wrong person. <laughs> I don't, yeah, let me, let me, yeah. And you backing away the whole time like you talking to a wild animal. You like, oh, hey, yeah, let me. And then Miss Ugly gonna tell you, oh, 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 oh. Now you wanna act like you don't know nobody? Now you wanna act like you don't know nobody? <clears throat> you know you wish your girlfriend was hot like me, boo boo. That's how it go down. You gotta watch out. Cause these other people, they be everywhere. And they start trouble a lot of places. That's why when you first walk up in a spot, I'm gonna tell you something. Be on the lookout. <laughs> Spot all the ugly people real quick. So you know where some trouble might start and you know where you gotta get away from. One time I was at the gentleman's club because I'm a gentleman. <laughs> and where else would a gentleman be other than a place properly titled the gentleman's club? <laughs> and so I'm in there, I'm having a good time and had a couple drinks. So at a certain point, I gotta go to the bathroom. But while I'm in there, I mess around and run into this cat that's from the same place I'm from. You know what I mean? If y'all don't know where I'm from, I'm from Richmond, California, city of pride and purpose. Know what I'm talking about? So, uh, we must have had some kind of bond or he felt like we needed protection because he decided to tell me out of nowhere, hey, hey, you ain't got to worry about nothing. I'm like, what are you talking about? I wasn't worried, but now I am. 
you ain't got to worry about nothing. You ain't got to worry about nothing. If something pop off in here, I got the pistol on me right now. What? You got a pistol on you in a gentleman's club? Come on, man. A gentleman's club to a gentleman is like Disneyland to a little kid. It's the happiest place on earth. Now, how are you going to be angry in a happy place like that and have a pistol on you? That just don't make no kind of sense. I'm talking about if something pop off. The only thing I worry about popping off right now is some bras and thongs. I'm talking about if something pop off. You crazy? Don't give me that. When I say ugly, it ain't just on the outside. You could be ugly on the inside, too. You could be beautiful and just be ugly on the inside. You can. You know? Because there's a lot of places, like certain places of employment, that seem like they specialize in hiring uglies. For example, the people who give out parking tickets. I don't know why, but you got to be some kind of ugly person, you know, whether you ugly on the outside or the inside or both, because who else gonna wanna ride around hating all day giving parking tickets? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. He got 30 seconds on his meter, I'm gonna get him. He better not be back in time. Oh, I can't wait to leave this ticket. <laughs> and then for you, what happened when you come out? What's the first thing anybody say when they get a parking ticket? You look at it and say, man, where this ticket come from? Because you don't never see the person. And it's a reason for that. Okay? It's a reason that you don't never see the person. You don't never see the person because the people that hired them know they're ugly and they don't want you to see them. So they teach them how to specialize in being real stealthy like that. It's kind of like a ghost gave you a ticket or something. I'm going to tell you another place where people work at. And we all been there. You got to go there. The DMV. OK? Yeah, the DMV. Right? Have you ever noticed that every time you go to DMV, the person just got an ugly spirit? They might not necessarily be ugly, but they just mad for no reason. That's an ugly person. OK? You know, you get up in there, and before you can even get to their counter, you can overhear them talking. Oh, these people getting on my nerves today. My goodness. God, what, what, is it 5 o'clock yet? My goodness. Because, oh, man, apparently I'm going to have to check somebody today when they coming up here talking. So then you go up to the counter, right? And then the conversation goes something like this. Uh, hi, I was just here. I wanted to renew my license. Um, well, you know that you could have just did that online like everybody else be doing. There wasn't no need for you to come up in here. I understand that, but... I, you know, I was in the area, so I figured I would just, oh, you figure, oh, you figure. You figured you were just gonna come up in here. Don't you see all these people waiting up in here? They be waiting up in here complaining and everything, and then people like you come up in here taking up all this space. Uh, uh, I don't understand. I'm, I just wanna read my lies. There's no need for you to talk to me like that. Well, uh, if you didn't wanna hear me talk to you like that, you would've learned how to follow instructions, okay, okay? You know what I'm saying? Don't just be coming up in here like that. But since you came up in here and you here anyway, I guess I can go ahead and help you. <laughs> and then what she do? She asked a burning question. Do you have your paperwork? <laughs> Cause see, they hoping you ain't got your paperwork. Cause if you ain't got your paperwork, you ain't gonna get no help. And of course you ain't got it. Cause you didn't even plan on going. So you'd be like, uh, no, I don't. I was actually hoping that, you know, you could look it up by my last name or possibly my old driver's license. Oh, 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 is that what you thought? Uh, no. Apparently, you don't know how to follow instructions a parent to a Lee. You know what I'm saying? They want to add extra syllables to the word. It's apparently not a parent to a Lee. But they think they're telling you off. And they want to add extra syllables to the word. You know, a parent to a Lee, you don't know how to follow instructions. If you would have read the paper like you were supposed to, then you would have synced okay, <laughs> that you must bring it with you. Then they grab a paper like the one you're supposed to bring in. What does it say right here? What does it say right here? Bring it with you, okay? You must bring it with you, okay? Do you see that right there? Read it. No, 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 read it. Then you start reading under your breath. Uh, yeah, you must bring... <laughs> must, must, must. That's right, must bring it with you. That's what it say. 
bring it with you. But since you don't know how to follow instructions, and we all know that, you ain't gonna be renewing your little license up in here at my counter today. So sorry to crush your little dreams, boo-boo. Next! <laughs> and then the person that's next in line heard all that. So they just look at the next person like, hey, man, you can go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for somebody else. Because they don't even want to deal with all that, you know, ugly mischief. And look, it ain't like ugly people just started infiltrating society. They've been around since the beginning of time. But what happened was, see, the music changed. And that's when ugly people started popping out the woodwork. Because the music changed. See, back in the day, music was sexy. So the people was sexy. It was like the men was men, ladies was ladies. And the men was singing to the ladies, and the ladies was singing to the men. I mean, even Michael Jackson was talking about getting some loving. <laughs> talking about, girl, close your eyes. Let that rhythm get into you. We all know what that rhythm was. That's what it was about. You had to be sexy back in the day. I mean, I look at old school pictures, like my pops and my uncles and stuff like that. Yeah, you know I mean, them cats stayed sharp. You know what I'm saying? Slacks, dress shoes, dress shirt, things like that. All the time. It didn't matter where they was going. Back in the day, they kept it sharp. Cash could have been going to the park to have a rumble with a rival gang and had on slacks and dress shoes. <laughs> you didn't know if they was going to, to, to have a fight or they was going to Sunday school. I mean, look, <laughs> even wrestlers kept it sexy back in the day. You ain't never see Ric Flair without a female by his side, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never catch Macho Man without Elizabeth, you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's what it's about, men like ladies. Then the music changed, music changed, and that's when everything changed, and, and ugly dudes start thinking it was okay to be ugly. And a lot of people like to blame it on hip-hop, but it ain't hip-hop, it was gangster rap. You know, because before that, it was like good songs, like, you know, I need love, and stuff like that. <laughs> and then next thing you know, a couple ugly dudes got together and was like, hey, we should be rappers too, but the ladies ain't gonna love us like Cool James, so we need to make some music that look like us ugly. You know what I mean? We need to make some music that's just ugly and angry, just like we are. And that's when gangster rap was born. <laughs> and apparently, around that same time, you know, I guess that's when dudes stopped liking the ladies. <laughs> Stop dressing for the ladies, walking around frowning, looking angry, start playing a Who's Hardest contest with other dudes. No pun intended. But uh, <laughs> that's what they would do. And correct me if I'm wrong, ladies. But I don't think y'all look at a dude that's walking around angry and say, oh, girl, look at his little ugly face all frowned up. He's so cute. <laughs> no. No, don't work like that. You probably say something more along the lines like, ugh, look at him. Why he look like that? <laughs> Looking like he constipated, like he need a boo-boo. What's wrong with him? <laughs> walking around with clothes on too big. Pants got on pants sagging, look like they messed in them. Shirt look like a nightgown. I don't want him to look. I don't want to talk to a dude look like that. Don't want it. No. See, back in the day, they kept it play out, dressed up, and the men's pants was tight. You know why they was tight? Because they want the women to know what they was working with. That's why they was tight. That's how you had a roll back then. You know what I mean? They shirt, they ain't used but about two buttons. Kind of like mine is right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm on to something. You dig? You know? That's how they did it. You know, but not, not nowadays. No, 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 no. Cats don't dress like that no more. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes that had it figured out, you know who had it figured out? Was well, some dudes like Rick James at Prince. Yeah, yeah. Those some guys I admire. Because they walked around dressed looking freaky as possible. If you was a woman, you looked at them, you was like, oh, girl, he looks so freaky. He'll probably do some things to me. And I like that. Look, I took it in as a kid. I got my freakiness since I was a kid. Let me tell you something. You know the first concert I went to as a kid? My parents messed around and took me to a Prince concert. No, oh, no, you saying who? But let me tell you something. I ain't talking about the new religious Prince. No, oh, I'm talking about the 1980 freaky dicky ooh Prince. A kid ain't ready to experience no freakiness like that. But I embraced it wholeheartedly, and it stuck with me till I got older. Because back in the day, I used to go to the club a lot. And I'm going to tell you something. When I used to go out, you know what I used to do? I used to put glitter on. 
Yeah. Think I'm playing. Ask somebody to know me. Yeah, my nickname is Act Handsome. You don't believe me, ask somebody. I'll put glitter on. Because my thought process was this. How can I just do something to make sure that I exude sexuality? I want to make sure that when a lady look at me, when she know, when she gonna get involved with me, she know what she finna get involved with. Ain't no secrets. <laughs> Ladies, if you see somebody walking the spot with glitter on, what, the, what you gonna say? You know what time it is. You ain't gotta say nothing. <laughs> you know how a gentleman go to a gentleman's club and he leave and he have a little bit of glitter on him? When a lady got done messing with me, she left with glitter on her. <laughs> and the way I looked at it was, hey, you should be shining if you just got done being with a star. You did? Because you ain't never seen a star that didn't shine. You know, these dudes, I'm telling you, they, they don't do that no more. They don't want to be sexy. Not at all. You know how else you could tell? You could tell by their lyrics in their videos. The lyrics, what they talk about all the time? Nothing. Nothing. They don't talk about nothing. All they want to talk about is how much dope they done sold. You know, I made a million on the block. You know what I mean? That ain't sexy. Ladies, is that sexy? No. <laughs> Y'all care about how much dough somebody saw? I mean, look, if you're trying to attract a dough fiend, that might be sexy. <laughs> that might turn a dough fiend on like, oh, he, he, he got them rocks, girl. Wait, ooh. <laughs> you know? But that ain't gonna attract no sexy lady. And if they ain't talking about selling it, they talking about doing it. Every song is Molly this, Molly that. <laughs> Let me tell you something, you hear me talking about a Molly, Molly gonna have blonde hair and blue eye. And if I say I took Molly, I took Molly, all right, I took Molly home, did a grown up with her and gave her the business. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm gonna talk about Molly. And the videos ain't no better. The videos ain't no better. Cause what you see when you see the videos, these videos ain't for the ladies. What you see when you see the videos? A bunch of dudes looking rough, jumping around with their shirts off, <laughs> dancing to the music. You know what you don't see? Women, <laughs> ladies, females. Not a woman in sight in the video. That ain't sexy. No. Nobody want to see no video like that. I want to see a video reminiscent of, of Two Live Crew or Uncle Luke or Nelly Tip Drill video. <laughs> and if y'all unfamiliar and y'all don't know what kind of video that is, imagine, imagine a gentleman's club on your TV in your living room <laughs> after hours. That's what one of them videos was like. And see, them videos was awesome because they was great for the fellas for obvious reasons. But they was great for the ladies. You know why? Because when the ladies was at home watching them videos, it brought out their competitive side. <laughs> yeah. They'd be at home watching that video and they'd be thinking to themselves, oh man, she can't even dance. <laughs> she ain't no freak. I could dance way better than her. <laughs> and the next week they go to the club and they in there dropping it like it's hot. These dudes nowadays, they make a video, got the girls scared to go to the club. Because what you see in the video, nothing but a bunch of dudes jumping around. There's some places that look just like they videos, and they usually got colorful flags hanging in front. <laughs> I don't watch the news. You know why I don't watch the news? It's because the news, right? The news ain't got nothing but a bunch of sad stories, violence, and ugly people. If you want to know where all the ugly people been or where they going to be, all you got to do is watch the news. I'm serious, that's all you gotta do, watch the news sometime. But don't nobody wanna watch that, because unless you finna be in a, in a heavily ugly populated area, ain't no need for you to watch what's going on with all this ugly mischief. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even bother with the news. I mean, I, I would if they would say something great sometimes. You know what I mean? If they'd give an announcement like, doom, 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 doom. breaking news, breaking news. Today is free $100 day. Everybody go to the bank's gonna get a free $100. Something like that. It had you excited a little bit. The only people that that wouldn't work out for is the majority of people who got like a negative hundred dollars in their account. You know what I mean? But then you gotta look at the bright side. You know, at least they'll break even. And you know what else I, I think everybody would love to hear on the news? One morning, you wake up, you getting dressed, and you hear on the news an announcement like this. Breaking news, breaking news. Today is National Have Sex With Your Coworker Day. Because everybody got that coworker that they want to get a business to. 
Boy, you mess around here, announcement like that. You, whoa, wake up, jumping up, getting ready early. Oh, I got to get to work. I got to get to work. Man, boy, Lisa was looking so good yesterday, and today is the day. How you mess around going to work singing some old school Michael Jackson or something? Talking about, she wants to get it. Oh, she wants to get it. Cause it's something about you, baby, that makes me want to give it to you. But the problem is, you got your dude co-worker who's singing the same song, and he like gangster rap, so he looking at you talking about, keep it in the closet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what else be tripping me out on TV? They got all these housewife shows, but ain't nobody a housewife. <laughs> they call it reality TV. That ain't reality. I'm confused. Most of the people either ain't never been a wife, then got divorced, or they playing hokey pokey, got one foot in and out, one, you know, one foot in, one foot out, don't know if they about to get divorced or not. <laughs> Talking about the real housewives. Look like the fakest housewives I ever seen. <laughs> you know? But you know, you know what I like to watch on TV for real? is animal shows. Animal shows make you record notice something. Record notice, that's my word. I mean, you recognize something, you notice it all at the same time. <laughs> so the animal shows will make you record notice something. I was watching, I was watching the Lions one day and I record notice, right? I record notice that pimps and lions got a lot in common. Cause let's break it down. What do a pimp do? He just sit back in his Cadillac and he send his ladies out there to get that bread. <laughs> and what a lion do? You ain't never seen a lion lift a paw. He don't do nothing but sit back up under that shade tree out on the Serengeti and send them little lionesses out there to get that meat. As humans, we could date anybody that we want to date. I and mean, you could date a white person, black person, Asian, Spanish, whatever. Animals, they can't do it. They can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel sorry for them sometimes. Like, you know what I mean? It could be like all primates, but they can't just go hook up with any primate they want in the jungle. It don't work like that. They're not allowed to. And you know sometimes, like a gorilla, look at a baboon and be like, ooh, that baboon got a big old booty. <laughs> Y'all know baboons got big booties, don't play but he can't go get none of that baboon. You know what I'm saying? And a lion sometimes just sit back on the Serengeti. And you know he be looking out. Man, he see, he see a cheetah pass. And he just be like, man, I wish I could get some cheetah. Man, I'd love to have some cheetah right now. <laughs> what I love watching even more than TV is a good movie. I love watching a good movie. Saying, but the problem with a good movie is nowadays ain't nothing but remakes coming out. Nothing but remakes. They ain't making no new movies. Saying, and unfortunately for me, I grew up in the 80s. So all the movies that they remaking, I didn't already seen the original. So for me, the remake just be a disappointment. And then, you know, they don't even have scary movies like they used to. You know, when I was a kid, they had real scary movies. You were scared of stuff. You know what I mean? Like monsters. You know what I mean? Nowadays, they got stuff like paranormal activity. Man, what is that? A bunch of people videotaping themselves sleeping. Ain't nobody scared of that. Then they wake up in the morning, some pots and pans then been moved to something, and they, they, they scared. Ain't nobody nervous. Man, scary is like Freddy and Jason. Scared, that's scary. And let me tell you, the reason why Freddy had you terrified is because you thought that was something that could, might, you know, might could really happen to you. You know what I mean? You really thought, because everybody got to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? You all got to go to sleep sometime. So you was like, oh, man, like, he could get me in my sleep, like, one, two, you know what I mean? Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to get me. So, man, Freddie messing around and had you being an insomniac or something like that, scared to go to sleep, cold as ice. But Jason wasn't no better, because Jason was cold because Jason, he would just mess around and, and, and walk after everybody and take them out. Everybody in the movie running 100 miles per hour, running full speed, he just walking. And he ain't walking like a, just a slow walk, you know what I mean? He walking like a stiff slow walk with, with a machete in his hand, you know what I mean? And catch everybody. And then if that wasn't scary enough, the music itself would get you. ch 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 Some of y'all scared right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, that music would get you. That music would get you. Because... You know, you might be at your friend's house, and just one of them might start playing with you. Just doing the music. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey, man, quit playing like that. That ain't even funny. Saying, I wish they'd mess around bringing Jason movie back out. 
Y'all know how to go. It's always the same. It'll be some young ladies staying in a house or a cabin in the woods, you know? And for some reason, they all sit in the living room half naked with lingerie on. <laughs> now, y'all generally don't wear lingerie like that around the house, but for some reason, when y'all get with all women, you put on lingerie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so they be sitting in the living room, and that's the first shot they give you, right? That's the first shot they give you. You come in, you know, you, you the camera's in there, so you see them all, <laughs> they may be having a pillow fight. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You may see something pop out or something. Like, oh, yeah, this is great. But then, what's the next shot they show you? The next shot they show you is like you looking through the window. That's how you know somebody there. You know what I'm saying? That's the next shot. You're like, oh, man. So you watching, you like, oh, he out there. He out there. And then, they, then you know, the next thing you know, they're like, hey, did you hear that? I hear something strange. And then the music kick in. And then next thing you know, the front door just come flying in. Boom! So they are they running. You know what I mean? Run on running full speed. What Jason doing? Walking. Because he know he gonna catch him. So he mess around and he walking behind him, you know, and she running full speed. Next thing you know, he right up on her. Right up on her. Got his machete up in the air, and he about to kill her. And then out of nowhere, Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You are not killing her today. You are not killing her today. We came together, and we are going to leave together. So sorry to hurt your little feelings, boo-boo. Y'all, Roy Jackson, y'all been great.